Introducing this article, social functioning is a major factor in the depression category. SSRI, or the serotonin, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, is the treatment that has been used in children to treat depression and also having anxiety. Fluxetine is the reuptake inhibitor that improves social function in adults. We are unsure if it will improve the social functioning in children, but in normal adults, SSRIs have been demonstrated to facilitate social interactions, but fluxetine has not yet been studied. Fluxetine would be expected to facilitate social interactions in children based on past findings in adults. In the study, we measured social interactions in healthy young male rhesus monkeys, as this could be tested on children with psychoactive drugs, but the side effect would be an irreversible change in brain development, which could lead to the impairment of the brain. In addition to this study, we also studied the drug genotype interactions as an inhibitor of the serotonin reuptake, fluxetine has potential to interact with the serotonin metabolism pathway. In the next slide, you will discover the methods, the discussion, and the results in this study. The animal selected for this study consisted of 32 male rhesus monkey infants, and they all came from the California National Primate Research Center. Um, if you don't know what a rhesus monkey looks like, that is a picture of one to the right. That is actually um, in the research center. And they chose males over females due to the ability to obtain the MAOA genotype group from the males more easily than from the females, it's more prevalent. The subject pairing was pretty straightforward. You have your control group that consisted of 16 monkeys that were broken down into two different categories, those of which were the high and low MAOA genes. Each category had eight monkeys in it. And then there was the treatment group that were receiving fluoxetine, also consisted of 16 monkeys, broken down into high and low MAOA genes, um, eight for each group. So as you can tell by the chart that I pulled from the paper, um, each group, for example, the high MAOA gene, um, that monkey that was in the control section would be paired with another monkey that was the same as them. And then they would also be paired with a monkey that was different from them, as in they had a low MAOA gene instead of a high. And those interactions, interactions were observed, and the same was done with the treatment group. Um, high paired with high and low paired with low. High, low, also observed. So these monkeys, um, they were housed in a very large indoor caging room. So basically, this was a very large room with two very large cages as well. And these two cages were connected by a door. And that door was always open except for when the treatment group were receiving their doses and when they were doing some sort of behavioral testing. But other than that, the door remained open and each pair were allowed to interact with one another as they pleased. So anytime they wanted to groom one another, they would just walk through the door to one side of the cage or to the other and that observation would be made of the interactions. So the observation sessions were conducted in somewhat of a strict manner. They wanted to be quite consistent, so each session occurred in the afternoon at 3 o'clock. The session was observed by the same person that had previously observed it, and that observer was always seated in a neutral position in the room 
with their laptop. So no more than two groups were observed in an afternoon. And the way they went about their observation process with the, the interactions that they saw between the monkeys was using an ethergram. And it had a list of 30 standard social interactions and expressive behaviors that they would tally up um, as they saw the monkeys interact with those behaviors. And any other behaviors that they were observing um, that were not listed on the ethogram, those were considered to be non-social behaviors. As previously stated, the observers used a behavioral ethogram in order to track all social interactions and expressive behaviors that they observed during the sessions between the pairs of monkeys. Um, so the social interaction category was broken down into four different sections. Those consisted of passive contact, quiet interaction, active play, and immature sexual behavior, all of which are exactly what they sound like. For example, quiet interaction is just that. It was a quiet interaction. They would groom one another without any um, vocalizations and communication between one another. So then you also had the social expressive behaviors and those were broken down only into two sections. Those were facial interactions and vocalizations, exactly what they sound like as well. Um, Vocalizations, for example, or grunting or any noises, specific calls they made, anything of that sort of nature. And these are just examples of some of the behaviors and interactions that they observed. Um, there was a long list of many other behaviors that were on that standard 30 that they tracked, um, but these are just an example of several. The average time spent in social interactions for the control group of monkeys was 38% of the 90 minutes observed, which increased by 30% in phylloxetine treated monkeys. And this was only observed uh, in quiet interactions and immature sexual behaviors. And it was or had some influences by partner genotype variables such as high and low MAOA combinations. The time spent in passive contact was 6% of the 90 minute observed time, and there were no fluoxetine or MAOA genotype effect or interaction, which you can see by the histogram at the bottom, both the vehicle and the fluoxetine treated monkey had about the same time of passive contact interaction. The time spent in quiet social interaction was only 17% of the 90 minute observed time and increased by 61% with the treatment of fluoxetine. Grooming behaviors were greater in monkeys partnered with like genotypes and clinging did seem to be slightly greater in monkeys with different genotypes, however this was not statistically significant. The average time spent in active play was 12% of the 90 minutes observed time and there were no significant changes from the vehicle to the fluoxetine treated monkeys, which you can see at the bottom. There's not a whole lot of difference, maybe a slight difference, but not much, not enough to be um, significant. Immature sexual behavior is a normal part of rhesus monkey play and stress relief pattern and it was averaged at a 2.57% of the time observed in the vehicle monkeys, and this increased by 60% in the phylloxine treated monkeys. In phylloxine treated monkeys, the high MAOA subgroup had an increased number of invitation behaviors such as approach, play face, and grooming behaviors compared to the low MAOA subgroup. 
The fluoxetine and MAOA genotype are not found to influence the number of behavior terminations, however. The amount of expressive behavior was not influenced by fluoxetine, but showed a trend toward effects of partner genotype and toward an interaction between MAOA genotype and partner genotype. They observed two clusters and compared them, and cluster one included coup, fear, grimace, scratch, and cluster two included grunt, threat, lip smack, sniff, and yawn. And it was found that fluoxetine by partner genotype interaction occurred only in monkeys with low MAOA genotype and reflected a much higher frequency of these expressive behaviors in fluoxetine treated monkeys whose partners also had low MAOA genotype. Results of this experiment suggest that treatment with fluoxetine increased the amount of time spent in social interactions without disruption or increase in abnormal or aggressive behavior. A few of the relevant background information in the discussion section suggests that effects of SSRIs on the social interactions in normal individuals may apply to individuals on the autism spectrum, as was demonstrated in this animal model. Evidence for the promotion of social bonding, increased social interaction in depressed patients, and treatment of social phobias are noted as evidence for this hypothesis. Previous research in two mouse models for autism was also suggestive of a role for SSRIs in treating social interaction problems. The perceived interaction between the MAOA genotype and fluoxetine in promoting the observed behavior is compounded by age, sex, housing, and observation conditions. In the observed situation used here, expressive behaviors could be directed at other animals in the room, at the observer, as well as at the proximal social partner and were not necessarily embedded in an interaction sequence. These considerations limit interpretation. Furthermore, if the multitude of confounding variables aren't responsible for the effect observed, increased social behavior could be interpreted as part of a more general activation of behavior, activation of behavior in children by fluoxetine and other SSRIs, which was recognized early in this, its therapeutic use in children, and is seen as having predominantly negative implications. Any evidence that the pattern of change in specific behaviors may depend on genotype of the children may help personalize the use of psychoactive drugs to promote social interaction, which could be very broadly applied across disorders including autism, depression, and social anxiety in children. In conclusion, this experiment was successful in demonstrating that fluoxetine may have promoted social behavior with a familiar peer in rhesus monkeys with a susceptible genotype. 